epigenetic regulation in prokaryotes is strikingly different from that in eukaryotes like mammals. Epigenetic plays a significant role in embryogenesis and human development. Malfunction of epigenetic regulation may cause disease and disorders. This article provides new insights on the evolution of epigenetics as described by my co-authors. DNA adenine methylation plays a vital role in many bacterial cell processes, emphasizing epigenetic modifications as an important factor in bacterial survival. Bacterial DNA repair is methylation dependent. The restriction modification system seems to have evolved as a method to combat pathogens invading the bacterial cell. On the other hand, archaea are a domain and kingdom of single-celled organisms distinct from bacteria and eukarya. Archaea are also known to exhibit epigenetic modifications to their genome. Certain species of archaea contain histone proteins, which form tetrameric nucleosomes similar to eukaryotes. Lower eukaryotes also harbor changes in adenine methylation. However, unlike prokaryotes, the eukaryotic genome is located within a membrane-bound nucleus and the DNA contains histones. Additionally, eukaryotes may harbor cytosine methylation in addition to adenine. It is believed that the four core histone proteins evolved from a common ancestral protein due to similarities in their C-terminal residues. However, with regard to epigenetic histone modification, it is known that the number of lysine methylation sites on histones increases with the complexity of the organism. That is, fewer in lower eukaryotes and more in higher eukaryotes. Regeneration properties do not appear consistently or linearly in the evolutionary timeline. The role of epigenetics in regeneration may provide a comprehensive and universal hypothesis for this process, an insight as to why some organisms retain the ability while others do not. Regeneration is also a good model to discover how epigenetics has been utilized throughout evolutionary history to control an organism's response to environmental stimuli. Interestingly, regenerative programming stems from highly conserved genes and cellular pathways, but few organisms possess a regenerative ability. This suggests that it is the expression of these pathways that are altered rather than the sequences themselves. Epigenetics plays a significant role throughout fertilization, embryogenesis, and development. In the early stages of fertilization and embryogenesis, the histones presented in the egg dictate DNA methylation and demethylation. Recent studies show that histone modification and CPG DNA methylation regulate each other and communicate during embryogenesis and the developmental process. Aberrations of this epigenetic balance in any developed tissue or organ may create an imbalance which may lead to disorders and diseases. Aging is universal. Studies have shown that certain gene patterns alter the aging process. Drastic epigenetic alterations accumulate when people age. Many researchers cite an epigenetic drift that is associated with aging that is a gradual increase or decrease in methylation at specific loci. Additionally, alterations in histone methylation change the lifespan of many species by regulating transcription. Recent studies show a striking association of metabolic syndromes with epigenetic changes. Maternal and paternal nutrition is linked to epigenetic metabolic programming of offspring. As diabetes and obesity are linked to cardiovascular diseases, epigenetics has also been found to be associated with the onset of cardiovascular diseases. In addition, neurological diseases initiate with epigenetic alterations at the level of histone modifications and DNA methylation in somatic cells. Autoimmunity is the loss of self-tolerance. Currently, the mechanisms causing autoimmunity are not well understood. Autoimmunity develops when genetically predisposed individuals encounter an environmental agent which may cause epigenetic changes. The number of genetic loci whose gene expression is modified by these epigenetic mechanisms is growing rapidly. Epigenetic mechanisms are also involved in viral infection. Cells infected by the Epstein-Barr virus exhibit a pattern of regulation that is regulated by epigenetic modifications. The human immunodeficiency virus also uses epigenetic modifications. The virus is able to hide from the host's immune system through the use of histone deacetylases, and thus it remains undetectable by the host's immune system. Many types of genetic alterations, including mutations, cause cancers. Recently, our laboratory hypothesized that epigenetic mechanisms are involved in the formation of cancer progenitor cells, and thus combination of epigenetic drugs with standard therapies should be beneficial to kill cancer progenitor cells and drug-resistant cancers to reduce relapse. In addition, epigenetic mechanisms could possibly be involved in the increase of oncogenic gene copies and deletion of tumor suppressor genes. Though epigenetics has evolved as a method of adaptation for prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the mechanisms remain relatively conserved.
as mammalian systems are more complex, the regulation of CPG DNA methylation by histone modifications and reversely, the regulation of histone modifications by CPG DNA methylation will uncover many mysteries not yet understood. In conclusion, the epigenetic mechanism is a switch that when out of balance may initiate diseases or disorders.